Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be tackling a grade from the new King Kong trailer. Now I don't remember much from the trailer except for that the color is really neat and it's like, and there's actually looks that are like done in post and not just an orange teal, which is pretty exciting. So here's a still that I grabbed that I thought was really cool. You can see that it's obvious, you know, there's a secondary correction here and it's, it's pretty neat. I'm very much into it. So I went out into my backyard and I shot something in the like forest by my house. It doesn't have bamboo, the light isn't the same, but hopefully we'll get somewhere close to this. So inside Resolve, we've got this. Look at how dramatic this is. I'm basically King Kong. So the first thing we will do is we'll sort of do our basic primary corrections of adding some contrast until it looks about good there. Add a little bit of saturation. And now good, we're done. No, no we're not. So now that's, that's sort of a good starting place. Um, if you wanna be like, you know, correct, you can name this, but being correct is a lot of work. So the next thing we're going to do is work on that sort of color split thing here. So in order to get that little split look thing going on, I'm going to add a serial node first with alt S and then use alt O to create an outside node. If you can't remember that, just go up to your nodes and serial node and outside node. Then in this first one, I'm going to make our little gradient. So in our power windows, Add this guy. I can hit Shift H to see what I'm doing. The button's over here if you want to push a button. But pushing buttons is lame. All right, so now this is about good for that. Shift H to hide that. And now I can just move. You can move the offset if you want, which is what I think I'm going to do, which gives it a little more of that effect they're going for. But if you want a little subtler, you can move the gamma. But I like the way the offset plays with this. So there's that looking pretty good. Then you can hop to the outside and cool it down the exact same way, but in reverse. Nice. So now you see we're starting to get somewhere. It's still not quite the same. Then you can see his skin tones aren't affected by the grade as much as mine. So what you're going to do there is go back to this first node, hit Alt L to add a layer node. Now you can see that just covers up all of this that happened because it's just like adding a layer in Photoshop. And now what they did is they used a circle window just on like the front part of his face, which you can do, but I'm too lazy to do that. So instead, I'm going to go to our qualifier, hit shift H again, and just select skin tones like this. So we're going to get a little bit more coming through than they did, but that's fine. And then I'm going to blur. That's looking pretty good. So hit shift H. And now you can see that's looking a little bit pale, so we can even... Increase the saturation there some more and increase the contrast some. And now that is really, you know, we can see what that did over here for reducing the key output. So you can see it really cleans things up. So I won't go 100%. I'll bring it back, you know, a little bit. Now that's looking pretty good. On this outside one, we'll darken it down a little bit. And then one more note on the outside, and we're going to be looking good. And this is just going to be a little vignette. So here's this, and we're going to soften it way out, get a little bit bigger. They're professionals, so they do, you know, subtler vignettes than I normally do. And so we'll keep it nice and out like that. So now that is starting to look pretty darn good. It's not 100% there. We can add another node and tweak things. We can reduce the saturation a little bit, go over to our luminance for saturation, and, you know, do some cinematic things that there bring those down a little bit go to our saturation for saturation and do that same sort of thing and now that is looking that's looking a little bit better once again like I said the light is completely different so this little hot spot on my face is not the same as that so we can actually bring the saturation up a bit it looks like which is nice I like lots of saturation so there we go and then I'm going to the curves and I'll put the overall gamma just to get a little bit more moody so bring it down a bit even bring the highlights down some so it's not you know technically correct to do that but i think it looks a little bit more like you're shaded in a forest let's go bring this down a bit again too and let's feather this guy out some more just sort of tweaking it up and now one more thing that it looks like they did in their shot is they had a little light leak over top just just enough. So I've got one here from the Bright Lights Light Leak Pack. You can find it on mistymedia.com slash products or just look online for light leaks too. You know, that works. But this is easier. So here's this one called Warm Wash, which is exactly what we need. 
you add this just by dragging it in like some footage because that's exactly what it is. I'm going to scroll through and this looks like a good little spot there and play through a bit and we'll call that good. Of course, you can also do that in the viewer, but I was too lazy to do that this time. I think it's called the viewer in Resolve. It probably is. Yeah, this area. All right, so now we've got that and you're thinking, oh no, Theo, what happened? Uh, your, your beautiful footage is gone. Fret not. Go over to your inspector. Set this guy to screen. And there we go. So now you can see it just adds that little extra touch of like, like this has just that little extra like mud that it has. So mine's a little bit redder. There's this little oranger. And look, since in resolve, you can just change that around. So here we go. So the part we can see what we're doing some. I'm just going to hit shift the hue until it is the orange side. Nice. Now I'm digging that. Oh, one last thing you got to do. Timeline. Output blanking. 2, 3, 5 to 1. Go back to this guy. Go to first node. Go to... Actually, I want to do this in the last node this time. Since we already got it all set up, go to sizing, go to node sizing, and then bring our tilt down. Go to a place where we can see some eyes. Get that happening. Nice. Look at that. It's like like we're, we made a movie or something. I think that looks pretty dope. So before, after, you know, very cool. King Kong looks like it is going to be a pretty movie to watch. I don't know anything about the plot. I didn't really pay attention to the trailer, except for that the color looks awesome. So check out the trailer. This is not a sponsored video by King Kong, by the way. I wish it was. Oh, I wish it was. If you are a Hollywood director and you want me to make a color grading tutorial about your movie for like dope amounts of money, you know, give me a call. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Be sure to share this video with your friends. If you want to see some more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. I've also got some Facebook and Twitter linked down below in the description. Also, be sure to check out meestermedia.com slash products where you can check out the Bright Light Sight League pack that we used here. Also, we have House Luts and the very newly put out Carnival Power Grade set, which is the first Power Grade set to use... Resolve FX from 12.5, and it's very cool, and it gets pretty wacky. Anyway, so this is Dragged Down Long Enough. I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.